Second Director of Enforcement Gerber Gruel slams crypto industry, cites significant noncompliance. Julia Smith last updated, April 3, 2024, 1380 2 minute read. A photo of the Washington, D.C. landmarks with an overlaid Bitcoin logo. Gerber Gruel, the Director of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission 2nd S Division of Enforcement, took aim at the crypto sector for its significant noncompliance regarding crypto regulations Wednesday morning during remarks at Practicing Law. Institute's annual Second Speaks event, Gruel blasts crypto sector for noncompliance. Gruel began his speech by emphasizing that the second decides whether or not cryptocurrencies classify as a security based on the Howey test, a four-pronged framework developed by the U.S. Supreme Court designed to parcel out what products may count as investment contracts, a.k.a. securities. While Gruel noted that not every crypto product can be designated as a security, he emphasized that the Howey test was the federal agency's standard for evaluating cryptocurrencies as well as more traditional financial offerings. Over the past decade, we have confronted significant noncompliance in many, many creative attempts by market participants to avoid our jurisdiction, with some claiming that we are making it up as we go or regulating by enforcement, and others arguing that we are recklessly exceeding our authorities, Gruel said. We've been accused of picking winners and losers, stifling innovation, and driving crypto businesses to more favorable foreign jurisdictions wherever they may be, Gruel continued. A decade's worth of verbal gymnastics that are just a backhanded way of saying, we want a different set of rules than those that apply to everyone else, the second's controversial regulatory approach. Gruel's comments come amidst public scrutiny of the second's regulation by enforcement approach which has seen several crypto businesses such as Ripple, Kraken and Coinbase, faced with hefty litigation. Critics of the federal agency argue that the second has sought heavy-handed enforcement actions in lieu of a clear regulatory framework, potentially driving crypto businesses overseas. However, Gruel defended his agency's stance, highlighting victim impact statements submitted ahead of the March 28 sentencing of disgraced FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried. The victim statements reflect the incredibly broad cross-section of people who were harmed by the fraud that Bankman Fried was convicted of, single parents, retirees, young people, grandparents, he said. People who were forced to sell their home, their car, or take on a second job to make up for their losses. A split of opinion at the second over crypto regulations. Despite gruel sentiments, not everyone at the federal agency seems to agree with its current regulatory approach. On Tuesday, 2nd, Commissioner Hester Pierce criticized her own agency at the same event where Gruel's remarks were delivered, claiming the second's tactics were scaring people off. The stilted communication, half-hearted engagement, quick draw of enforcement guns, and limited transparency that characterize the Commission's current relationship with the industry we regulate should concern anyone who cares about this great institution and the amazing markets we regulate, she stated. Gruel and Pierce's comments suggest a chasm between regulators themselves as to how to go about the emergent need for crypto regulations. Follow us on Google News.